All right, hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make this page in Photoshop. You can see here I have assembled all the things that I need into one folder on my computer. I have all the pictures here that I'm going to use. So let's start by opening this template. All right, let's bring in our pictures first because that's easiest. All right, I'm going to use this one as the big one in the background. So I just dragged it in. I'm going to drag it down here. I'm going to right click, create clipping mask, get my move tool, and then control T will let me transform it. I'm going to kind of drag it over here. I'm going to control T again because I actually want it a little bigger. All right. That looks good. Let's get the small pictures. One, two, three, four, five. Drag them in. Alright, so to start, I'm going to select all of them, control T to transform, make them smaller. To select a group of photos like that, all you need to do is click on the first one, come down here, before you click, hold down shift, so shift, click, and you get them all. All right, shift, click. All right, so let's put these in here. Right click, clipping mask, right click. All right, bring it down here, put it in there. So I'm just using my move tool, which is that arrow up there, the arrow, and I'm just dragging them down here so that they're on top of the background image. All right, so that is all done. All right, so I'm actually going to combine these so that I can add a drop shadow to the whole thing. So click on the first one and then right click on the last one. Make sure you don't get the big one. Alright, we have to release that. We don't want that there. Alright, so double click and let's add a drop shadow. Drag these guys up, drag that down. Okay, so you can just kind of play around with that until you get one that you like. All right, let's bring in our papers. The background. All right, and then we're going to use the stripes here. Create clipping mask. All right. Now we're going to actually combine these so that we can put a drop shadow. Let's go up here, let's copy that. Paste it. All right. Now we're going to add this behind it. Okay, so control T and I'm going to hold shift while I drag to maintain my aspect ratio. That's important. Hold shift while you are transforming. All right, so I now I'm going to have this one highlighted. I'm going to hold down control, click on the background, 
and I'm going to use that to center my pages up here. All right. So if you have your arrow, you just this will center them. All right. And then let's paste on our layer style. All right. Things are looking good. Now I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to get my shape tool. So I'm going to have this one over here to just make a basic basic shape. And then I'm going to make a square. So on my new layer, I hold down shift and drag that will give me an actual square. Something about like that. Then I'm going to hold down control to select the background get my move tool and I'm going to center that. Alright, so then back to my square that I made. I'm going to use the magic wand to select it. Go up here to select, modify, contract, I think maybe about 40. I guess we want a little more than that. We're making the border here. Alright, that looks good, so I'm going to delete that. Okay, so we actually want to fill that with glitter. So I'm going to bring my glitter in, open it in a new window, and I'm going to say define pattern. Okay. Then I'm going to come over here to layer one. I'm going to lock its transparency so that when I fill it using my paint bucket pattern, let's go get that pattern I just defined right here. There we go. Nice. And we can add a little a little bevel to this maybe. Just to give it a little effect. All right, we're getting pretty close. Let's close that. I'm going to actually grab my palette here. So I'm going to do some typing and I want to get this blue color. So I use the eyedropper to select the blue. Now I'm going to use my text. I can't even see that right now, can we? Alright, it's behind so I'm going to drag it up here. Alright, there we go. I'm not sure that I spelled everything right. Well, let's come over here to my character. Make sure I have the right color. Got the right font here, Tanglewood Tails. I'm just going to make it bigger. Alright, so let's come back over here and get our text. Add that in there. Okay. So I think that's about the right size, but over here, this is the line heights. I don't want them quite so far apart from each other. Maybe not quite that close together. All right, and then these guys here, I'm going to make this bigger. Maybe even bigger than that. Maybe not quite that big. Okay. Actually, let's use the same line height for all of these. So I've got my text. Also, I'm going to add another text down here which just says Penang, Malaysia. All right, and I want that to be a different font. Champagne and limousine. Sounds nice. All right, there we 
we go. Now the last step is just to drag in our flowers here. Got that. Our two flowers. Let's paste our layer style on there. I'm going to control T, hold down shift to make them a little smaller. And then I'm just going to kind of control T also lets you tilt them a little. So I'm going to do that. make this one even smaller. Not that small. And then I'm going to turn it around. And then I'm going to duplicate it. Right click, duplicate. So to do all this, I'm using the Move tool, which is the arrow, which you can get just by clicking V on your keyboard. All right. I think let's just go ahead and move this down here a little. that down a little. I'm just using the arrows on my on my keyboard to move those just a little. Alright, and we're finished. So hopefully you learned something new from that.